Hi, uh, I'm Gavin Hustra. I'm a technical specialist and STEM consultant here at Robotis, and uh, today I want to talk about uh, an area that gave me a lot of trouble when I first started at Robotis, uh, and that would be the differences in our protocols for Dynamixels. Uh, a large part of the reason why this gave me difficulty is because there's two distinct things that we can reference when we're talking about protocols. Uh, there is the physical layer, uh, like the wires and how it is, the data is transmitted, and then there is the code or uh, electronic layer of how uh, our Dynamixels and the controllers communicate. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start off by talking about the physical layer uh, first. Um, we sell Dynamixels that have two different types of physical data communication. Um, they're both half duplex, but they communicate in two very different ways. Half duplex meaning either they're sending data or they're receiving data. Um, I'll, I'm going to start off with TTL. Uh, this is three lines, uh, so it has just has three wires. It has a ground. It has a uh, data communication line, both up and downstream, and power. How this works is that uh, basically when uh, something is transmitting, it will send voltage across the line and then compare it to the ground uh, and say, this is 5 volts in comparison to 0 volts. This is a 1. Or this is 0 volts in comparison to, to ground. It's a 0. Um, the disadvantage to this form of data communication is that if you have any sort of inducted current on your ground, it can mess up the signal, uh, meaning that these uh, TCL connections are best suited for short uh, hops, um, no more than maybe a foot is what, I, what we'd recommend here at Robotis. Uh, the other form of uh, physical data communication is RS-485. Um, how this one works is very similar. Uh, you still ha you, it still works half duplex, meaning it's either sending or receiving, um, but there are four lines in this. Uh, it works similarly to how uh, TTL works, except for the signal is uh, differential. Um, this allows for high resistance to noise or uh, induced currents on the line because if the currents are changed in any way, uh, they reference each other instead of the ground, meaning that if things are shifted up, um, it doesn't matter because both signals are, sh are shifted up uh, and if they're shifted down it, it also doesn't matter because both are shifted uh, down. How this works is there's a data line A and a data line B. If data line A is high and B is low, that's a 1. If B is high and A is low, that would be a 0. Um, this allows you to have much longer distances to that you can span. Um, RS-485 uh, data communication can go for up to, I think, a kilometer or so. Uh, we here at Robotis don't sell wires that long, um, but we would be worried about the performance of our Dynamixels being separated by that distance. Um, so that is our physical data communication layer. Um, let's talk about our uh, communication standards. Um, so when we refer to protocol 1.0 and protocol 2.0, these are methods or the organization on how data is transmitted from our controllers to our Dynamixels. Uh, similarly to how like Bluetooth is a radio signal that has information in the beginning to identify that it's Bluetooth, uh, it's, a, it's the same concept. Um, the reason we have two is because protocol one is our older uh, protocol. It has a few less capabilities. Uh, it's still available on our AX series and our MX series. Um, the MX series can be upgraded to protocol two though. Um, I'll link a video in the description. Um, the capabilities of protocol 2.0 are, are vastly, uh, have a much larger depth to what you can do with them. Um, you can do things like current-based position control, um, which means that if your Dynamixel hits a certain current, it stops. Um, you can tweak velocity and position in a much more accurate way. You just get more data back because of how the uh, communication is structured. Um, that's pretty much the, the long and short on uh, data communication uh, protocols, uh, both the physical side and the uh, protocol uh, for 
uh, electronic communication or how the devices communicate between each other. Um, there's, if you want to learn more about exactly how they communicate, I would suggest watching our video on packets. Um, this basically tell is is how they specifically send uh, a header file along with hexadecimals and a clo uh, hexadecimal numbers and a closing file to send a command. Uh, and there's much more information on our e-manual about how all of this works. Um, if you like the video, please like it uh, and subscribe. Uh, if you have any more suggestions for videos that you would want to see in the future, leave them in the comments below. Um, we have other forms of social media. We have a Facebook uh, under Robotus America as well as a TikTok under the same name. Um, yeah, I, I hope this helped you guys out um, and have a fantastic day.